Hey, welcome back everybody. GPT Adventure Channel here. Going to show you uh, my top six flies that I like to use um, for fall brown trout. Here in Middle Tennessee, we prim primarily fish uh, tailwaters. And uh, in those tailwaters, the water and the conditions that we like to fish are uh, pretty much most of the time it's four to eight feet in depth of water throughout most of the river. There's exception a few deep spots as well as shallow. But mostly four to eight feet is kind of the range that we run. So most of these flies, we're not going to use any drop shot on it uh, because we are using a sinking line for the most part. It's an intermediate sinking line that we have on uh, our Orvis reels. But uh, first and foremost, I've got the flies kind of divided up here. Uh, the left side is going to be more what I use for darker cloudy days as well as uh, approaching nighttime. And uh, I like to use the light colored or white flies for... Uh, pretty much sunny days or super early in the morning turning into afternoon where the sun's just starting to peak out and uh, get up ahead. So there you have it, the six flies that I like to use. I'll go through them real fast. The top four right here are all the Sex Dungeon. So Gallup Sex Dungeon, you can look them up. A lot of places sell them, a lot of different variants. These are all jointed in the middle. And a uh, little bit of flash on them. The black one doesn't have very much flash at all. In fact, it's just got a few little tips here in the tail. They're all bead head, or yeah, bead eyed, bead head, however you want to look at it. Um, outstanding action in the water and fish, they just go crazy for them. So, um, also have the uh, zoo cougar and the boogeyman down here. You can see the boogeyman. He's great. He's got this great big feather on the back that uh, really, really kind of adds a lot of extra action and such, and looks like a little sculpting in the water, which is pretty cool as well as the flashes underneath. So whatever uh, direction that the fish is looking at it, he's got a lot of a lot of unique features to them. The zoo cougars a little bit smaller. They're not hitting the big, you know, three to four inch flies. They'll hit this little guy. It's got a little bit of flash underneath. Very simplistic design. This one I would run a uh, little bit of a split shot ahead of it. That way it can get down to where the fish are because primarily uh, they're going to be fishing in the lower water column. So uh, there you have it. My top six flies that I like to use for brown trout. And I uh, hope you guys find this useful and uh, go pick you up some today. All right. Appreciate it. 